What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the second part in this tic-tac-toe series. So in this part, we're actually going to be implementing the Minimax algorithm for tic-tac-toe, which will make a completely unbeatable bot to play against. So before we start, let's quickly go over what is the Minimax algorithm. Basically, the algorithm acts exactly the same way as it sounds, as it tries to find the best move in a game, which will result in the best outcome to win a game, and minimize the chance to lose the game. So it basically wants to maximize all of their personal outcomes while at the same time minimizing all the potential outcomes for whatever the opponent is. Um, talking about this algorithm and more of like a programming speak um, is basically this is a recursive program representing a tree of nodes where each node represents a specific move or outcome of the game. The bot then would tra traverse this tree to the node with the highest value, where the value represents how good of a move it is. Um, this process can get pretty complicated when the algorithm is applied to a problem where there's millions and millions of outcomes which need to be handled. Um, but in tic-tac-toe, there's only a finite number of moves which can happen, so this algorithm can handle it perfectly. Um, if you want a more detailed explanation of this algorithm and its application specifically with tic-tac-toe, I'm going to link an article about its implementation, which is what I use to create this video. It's a decent read, um, pretty, uh, uh, nothing too complicated, uh, just reading through it, it's actually pretty nice. Um, anyways, uh, let's actually hop straight into the code now. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this computer move because we're actually going to make it a little more, um, a little more uh, uh, computerized, if you will. I'm just going to put a pass in there so it doesn't scream at us. Um, and then what we're going to do is let's come up towards the top and let's get going. So, all right, so the first thing we're going to do here is actually change up this computer move function, right? So he, what we're doing here is we're actually going to be implementing some of the features which make the minimax algorithm work, but we're gonna have to define another minimax out, um, function right after this to handle everything, right? So the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna create two variables here. We're gonna make one called best score, and we're gonna initialize it to negative 800. And then we're gonna make another variable called best move, and we're gonna initialize this at zero. So the best move setting it equal to zero, it this zero really doesn't matter. It just needs to be initialized to some sort of value, right? So whatever you're put here doesn't really matter. And this best score is doesn't the number itself doesn't really matter either. It just needs to be a smaller number, right? So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the different nodes in the tree, right? Each node is going to represent um, a different gain state, which is a potential outcome, right? So if, let's say, there's a node for an X in the top left and an O in the middle, right? That's a node um, on the tree. And every single other potential combination of X's and O's and tic-tac-toe is another node on the tree, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a score for each one of these nodes. And this score is going to be what tells our bot which is the best move to do, okay? So now what we're going to have to go down here is how are we going to figure out the score? So basically what we got to do is first, we got to go through the entire board itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all the keys in the board dictionary. So for every key in board.keys, and then what we can do is we can check to see if the space is empty. So we can say if board bracket key equals a space. Then what we can do is set the board bracket key equal to the computer. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are visualizing a potential move, right? We're going through each key in the board, and we're inserting the, the bot there. And we're going to see if this is a good move. So basically, what we're going to do here is we have to calculate some sort of score for this, um, this move on the board. So let's create a variable called score. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it equal to calling the minimax function on the board. And then I'm going to put another parameter as false right here. This is going to make more sense once I actually define the minimax algorithm after this. 
So then after we call this and we get the score, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to reset the, that board position that we just made to an empty um, string, right? Because we don't want to have the board filled up with letters on the computer move, right? And then what we can do is we're going to check to see if the score is greater than the best score. Um, we're going to say best score is equal to score. And then that best move is going to be equal to the key. And then what we can do is we can exit out of this for loop and we can actually insert the letter. Um, the letter is going to be the computer and then the position is going to be the best move. Okay, so after it goes through this entire loop, the computer is going to know, hey, this is the best square that we should go to on a tic-tac-toe board. And then after we turn the letter, we can, or after we enter the letter, we can just return this function. So now let's come down here and define the minimax algorithm. And this is going to take in two parameters. It's going to be taking the board and then a Boolean value, which we're just going to call is maximizing, right? Because we got to maximize and we got to minimize, right? So we got to know which one's which. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we have to first check three conditions. And what we're going to do here is we can just say if check which mark one, which is a function that we have not um, defined yet, and we're going to pass in the computer for this. And if this is the case, then we can just return one. And then we can say elif check which mark one, and then we pass in the player. And we can return negative one. And then we can check elif check draw. And in this case, we're just going to return zero because it's in between. Okay, so checking which mark one. Um, is pain, is going to be a new function that we create, which is going to be pretty much the exact same as our check win function up here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just define this right underneath it. So let's say define uh, check which mark one. And then we're going to pass in a mark. And this mark is going to represent either an X or an O, so the player or the computer. Okay. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste all of this and put it right here. And the only changes that we're going to make is we're going to check to see if these are equal to mark. All right, so we're going to want to take out all of these. Whoops. Make these all equal signs. And then make these all mark. Alrighty, so now we have all these checking to see if they're equal to mark, returning true, and then false down there. Perfect. So let's go back down and let's finish implementing this minimax algorithm. Okay, so now what we want to do is consider whether we're maximizing or we're minimizing. So thankfully we have that is maximizing Boolean value up there. So what we can do is we can check to say if is maximizing, then what we can do is we're going to do something very similar to what we did right here. So what we can do is we're going to make two we're going to make a variable. We're going to call it best score. Let's set it equal to negative eight hundred. And then we're going to loop through all the board positions for every key and board dot keys. Then what we can do is we can check to see if is actually I keep I check to see what um, I can check just check to see if space is free. Space is free. And then we pass in the actually no, we can't do that but use that function um, because we don't have the position variable. But we can do is just check to see if board bracket key is equal to a space. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say um, board bracket key equals computer 
And then what we can do is call this mini maxima function on itself for the score. So score equals mini max board. And then since we are already maximizing right now, what we're going to do is we're going to set the is maximizing to false so that it goes into the else block after we code this out. And then we're going to set the board position back to the empty string. And then what we can do is we can check to see if score greater than best score best score equals score. And then we go outside of this for loop right here, and then we can just return the best score. Now we can code the else block down here. And for the, the else block is we're going to make another variable of best score, but this time we're going to set it equal to positive 800, right? Because we're minimizing right now. Okay, so what we can do is we're going to loop through the board again. And then we can check to see if board bracket key is equal to an empty string. Whoops. Board bracket key is equal to an empty string. Then we can set the board position to the to the um, to the player this time, right? Because we're trying to minimize the other person's moves, right? Board is equal to player. Then we can make the score, and we're going to set it equal to mini max. And then the board. And then this time we're going to set the is maximizing to true. And then we're going to put the board position back to an empty string. And then with this time we're going to say if score is less than best score best score equals score and then we're going to return best score perfect so after we do this i believe we should have a complete game with the minimax algorithm implemented so let's go ahead and let's come down to the bottom and let's run the game and see if we have any errors. So the player went top left, or the bot went top left. Let's go two. Okay. And let's go three and see if it beats us. It does not beat us. But is that that is a better move because they locked us up diagonally and vertically. So now if I go nine, it beat me right there. Perfect, right? And let's give it a run again. And our position for oh this time let's tie the game there's no way we can beat the game so let's go into the middle go five okay now it's going to the top so i'll hit three now it's going down there so i'll hit four it's going to the right um so now it's this is going to be a tie draw there we go perfect that's the complete implementation so um So that's a complete implementation right there. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Um, if you guys want similar type of con content, I was thinking potentially um, make another video where I do the same exact thing, except for connect four and implement the Minimax algorithm to solve that. Um, so if that's something that interests you, let me know. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have liked the video. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thanks, everybody.